Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're going to do a tutorial over isotopes. So the key question is, what are isotopes? So we'll be discussing that now. Isotopes are forms of an element that have the same number of protons, but a different number of neutrons. So for example, if we look at carbon 12, carbon 13, and carbon 14, we notice that the number behind each one of these is different. That's because each one of these has a different mass number. What is our mass number? Our mass number is our number of protons, and I'll abbreviate that, plus our number of neutrons. Since we already know what our mass number is, we'll go ahead and write those right down here in the following. So our first one is carbon 12, the mass number is 12, carbon 13, the mass number is 13, and carbon-14, the mass number is 14. If you look on your periodic table, if you notice on the right-hand side, you'll locate carbon, and above the element symbol, you'll see a number. That number represents the atomic number or the number of protons, which will be six for carbon. Notice that all three of these are the same. Why? Because all three of these are isotopes of carbon. If the number of protons or atomic number changes, it will turn into a different element and will no longer be carbon. So the last thing we need to figure out is our number of neutrons. How do we find that out? Well, it's quite simple, actually. So we'll actually ask ourselves, 6 plus what would give us 12? Which would give us 6. 6 plus what gives us 13? 7. And then 6 plus what gives us 14? 8. So now that we've got the bases down, let's go ahead and try a practice problem out to make sure that we have it. If you notice on this practice problem, we have hydrogen one, two, and three. Once again, this number behind hydrogen is actually our mass number. And our mass number, once again, is our number of protons plus our number of neutrons. If you notice right here, there's an H1, an H2, and an H3, which is the same thing as saying hydrogen 1, hydrogen 2, and hydrogen 3. It just has the element symbol for each for hydrogen below. So now let's go ahead and take 30 seconds to complete this, and I will stop the screen starting now. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. As of now, we should all finish our chart for hydrogen. So let's see if we got it right. Each one of our hydrogens already has a mass number. So let's write that first. Hydrogen 1, hydrogen 2, and hydrogen 3. And if you look at the top left corner and locate the hydrogen symbol above it, you'll notice on your periodic table, the number of protons will be 1, 1, and 1 because isotopes have the same number of protons but a different number of neutrons. And then to find our neutrons, 1 plus what will give us 1? 0. 1 plus what gives us 2? 1. And then 1 plus what will give us 3? 2. Notice, same number of protons, different number of neutrons, which ultimately has an impact on our mass number. And now let's work our third practice problem just to ensure that we understand that what we're covering is isotopes and that we understand what isotopes are. And I will give you 30 seconds to complete this problem, and I will pause the screen starting now. Great. Glad everyone is back with us. Let's go ahead and identify what they automatically give us. And what would this be? That would be our mass number. And if you did yours correctly, you should have the following mass numbers. If you looked on your periodic table, you notice that lithium has three protons, which is also the same as the atomic number. And then you ask yourself, three plus what gives us seven? You said four. Three plus what gives us eight? You said five. And then three plus what gives us nine, which will be six. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and do a review over this. Same number of protons, and I apologize. Let me put this up here again. Same number of protons, different number of neutrons, which also ultimately gives us a different mass number. 
Ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, I'm Travis Spivey, signing off with my son Jordan Spivey. Hope this tutorial was helpful, and peace, and have a great day.